What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beatdown, and I'm back with a bonus episode of Dot Hack Infection. So, with Scathe now defeated, the to be continue uh, now run, we have several new things we can look at. So, we have, uh, what was it? Uh, succession and cultivation of apples. On your ring research institute said today they have succeeded in cultivating a new type of apple with increased nutritional content. The texture of the prototype both good, but nothing like an apple. Some tasters have commentated that it's very bland and dry. Interesting. Bigfoot investigation. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that matters. More important thing, we have several things we can uh, go through for here. So we have, uh, first of all, we have stuff from uh, Black Rose. Things are all happening at once. I'm counting on you. Yay, Black Rose. Uh, do you cook? Guys these days need to be able to cook if you want to be popular with the girls. Thank you, Mistral. A lot of fucking help. Anyways, the important things are the Roy uh, from Bandai. Congratulations, you are on clearing dot .hack infection. You now have the data flag for dot .hack infection. Gain data in this condition in yellow can be imported into the next volume. Data without the data flag will not be imported, so please be careful. You may continue with your adventure with the current data. The main story will not proceed. Items and experience obtained after clearing can be imported to the next volume, so you can strengthen your character before you continue with the story. Important things to note if you haven't done side quests or just want to generally level up. The final thing is... Have you seen the mystical giant in the heavens of the Delta areas? According to rumors, the aerial fleet transporting the giant thousands of years ago was in an accident, now wanders with the giant forever. Delta, hideous someone's giant. Use the keyword to solve the mystery of the cursed fleet wandering the heavens. P.S. I forgot to tell you, but I added a virus course T to your items. Now the hoping question is, do we have the data course to uh, go and take care of that? So, let's find out. But, before we also take care of that, there are several things I want to take note of beforehand. And that's the mention of some bonus areas. I'll save one for later because we'll be going into that one. Uh, but several of key note are this. Uh, the first of which is Delta Voluptuous Her Remnant. This is a place to get the Rusty Nail and the Kaga Yuzin. The Rusty Nail was a level 1 rare um, twin blade weapon that basically had negative and minus damage. The point of this weapon is so that you can punch old enemies and still be able to data drain them without instant killing them. Or without instantly killing them. So, fun stuff there. This, uh, to find this area, you actually had to look on the back of the... One of the volumes for dot hack sign, I'll be flashing it up on screen. And my only conclusion on how you were supposed to piece this together, because there are several words on the back there, is the keywords voluptuous, her, and remnant are all in a different font than the other words. At least I think they are. The picture I have is kind of eh, and I don't have a clear like scan of it to really make sure of that. How you were supposed to know if it was in Delta or Theta? Eh, good fucking question. The final one is in, or the second one is in Delta Hideous Organ Market Scaffold. This will give you the key item called the Ice Bar. Uh, let's see, do I have this item? Or is it, no, it's not a key item, it's just a regular item. The Ice Bar is important, but why is the analog turned off? There we go. Whoa. Come on. Now nah, this is going to be a pain to deal with. There we go. Uh, but you may not know why. The ice bar will play a part in one of the later versions, but currently not right now, so keep that in mind. You can still pick up any of these in the later volumes. All worlds and items are accessible in later volumes, which leads to wonder why the fuck that they bothered so much with trying to do all that. Anyways. And the final one is Theta Dog Dancing Passionate Tripansy. I didn't go to this one, but it contains the Soul Blade. No, I did go to this one. This contains the Soul Blades and Ceramic Helm. Um, I don't remember if I have... I do not. I have the Bombaya. Uh... Oh, no, I do have the, Ka the Kageyusen attached, though. This is the one that gave me Muile and no damage added, so that's also a fun thing. That was from the other place. The Soul Blades, I don't remember what that is. I think I might have given it to someone else because I had a better weapon on hand. The Ceramic Helm, though, is a special... Uh, uh, is a special... Uh, helm that can only be equipped by pretty much anyone that isn't a Wavecaster or a... Wave... wave 
Spellcaster, Twin Blade, or I think Long Arm. It's the item that I have equipped to uh, Black Rose right now that allows her to do the regen health and regen SP ability, so those are also fun. But yeah, there is another one that supposedly has some pretty good equipment, but we're going to take a look at that in, another, in a, another bonus episode after this. For right now, we're going to focus this one to taking care of... Uh, uh, to taking care of that bonus dungeon, so we're gonna have to go back to Delta server. If we have enough time, I may consider doing both of those together. I'm not sure how deep this dungeon will go. Alright, so party. Now that's a log out, not party. Add, we're gonna summon, we're going to want to obviously call Black Rose. She is still the strongest among us. Okay. The strongest among you may not wear a crown on that day when you need some... Anyways, uh, and we're going to call Pyrus for some help. Because he's pretty tanky. Hark. Hark, he have shut the fuck up. Alright, uh, so with everyone assembled, I don't really have anything too good for a Pyrus. We're going to hope that I can get into here. What the hell was this? Oh, tag with goblins. That's something else I need to take care of. So, hideous someone's giant. Level 30, water area. Please only need the T-Virus core and nothing else. Please. Oh, praise be the Lord. And I was like, please don't need anything else. Please. I don't want to have to go grinding for a bonus fucking video. And here we go. So, I alluded to this before, because in certain areas, you remember that giant mummy that we could see turning? Yeah, this is that thing. See, there's the giant mummy thing that you can kind of see dipping down into the certain areas. And you do occasionally see that in certain areas. So this was hinted at. This is not just a random thing. You actually do occasionally see this thing uh, in fields. All right. So this is a unique field that doesn't have a uh, an outer field like uh, most dungeons do. But it does have a bunch of, you know, downward fields. It is level 30, so it will be... I don't want to say too terribly difficult, but we will probably have to go through some stuff. Thankfully, I still have... A lot, if not, oh my god, there is a fight every fl every level. Oh boy. We may be doing some skipping around in here. Well, uh... Oh no, just one enemy? Alright. Oh, of course, it, of course it's not... Of course, water area. That means you fight a bunch of, uh... A, a bunch of, like, thunder-tolerant enemies. Which, of course... And, of course, my blade just happened to be thunder-tolerant. I hope the boss... Uh, is not thunder tolerant. That's gonna put a damper on my parade. But thankfully, I think this is another case of where I should just play heel bitch in the back. Uh, I'm going to actually have Black Rose. Uh, designate a skill. I need you to use HP on me. Thank you. And since you seem to be the only one who has fucking... Uh, spells to counter all this, you're also going to put Regim on yourself. Alright, uh, actually, change this up to Operation... Okay, we're still on Operation Union Battle. Okay. I technically have Staccato, I guess. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. That is not good. guys hit for a little bit more than I th thought they would. Oh shit, I'm dead now. That's because that was a critical. Awesome. Oh, I missed out on that experience. Oh well. It's a good thing I've got that skill drain on me. So I can just get uh, energy back every now and then. Who was it that? Oh, it was Pyros. Nice. Uh, let's see, what's inside here? Oh, God, I still have to go collect a bunch of, like, grunty food and shit so I can fucking make all the grunties, too. Oh, God. 
I was not prepared for these bonus videos at all. Why? Why did it have to be you? Okay, you know what? Actually, Wonder Battle. Skills. Try and get rid of this guy first. Oh god, and these bastards heal themselves too? Oh, that's fantastic. Alright. Night blood. Beast blood. There we go. Yeah, that critical hurt way less than it did before. I would see if I could get anything from them from data draining them, but I just don't care enough. I was going to say, you guys want to help me over here now? Actually, let's see. What do I get from data draining these bastards? Oh, of course. The one time I didn't want uh, virus cores. <laughs> Great. Now we're both... Uh... Did I level up? No. Huh. That's weird. Oh, right, right, because he was... Uh, right, I'm stupid. I was like, why didn't I get anything? Why didn't I get any experience from him? And then I'm like, oh, right, he was a shit level because I gated him. Self. There we go. And thankfully, most of his attack didn't do anything, so I was already killed. He was already dead by the time he pulled it off. Actually, Earth. What is. I forget. It's wood, right? So I don't have any darkness attacks, or I'd use those against those uh, Tetra armors. Because right now, those things are the biggest pain in my ass. Thankfully, with these Moo Guardians, I can just use Thunder Coil on them. No dog, hurt you like data drains. Master Axe, ooh, shiny. Yay, I leveled up, bitchin'. Uh, Pyros, what do you have on you, stats? Oh, you have a Master's Axe. Oh, well, never mind then. Let's, let's... Okay, I mean, I guess, you know, that's, that's cool, I guess, you know, it's, it's no big deal. Alright, first aid. Well, good job, guys. I mean, I guess I, oh, I have a revive ability? When did I gain that? Alright, there we go. Hopefully this thing's only like three floors. I don't think I could stomach recording all of... Like five floors or something of fucking, uh... Uh... Of like all fights every time. We'll find out how this goes with this floor. If it's, uh... If it's a more of a bunch of monsters, I'm just gonna start skipping. So, what does the magic wheel say for us? It says... Uh, it says the boss is right ahead. Holy shit. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, all right. Black Rose, I'm going to need you to heal me. I'm also going to need you to, uh, there you go. 
while you're at it, red game yourself. All right. I'm also gonna quickly give you guys night blood and beast blood because I don't remember what this uh, person you I don't remember what this boss uses. All right, let's do this. Let's go fight the Parasite Dragon. Don't worry guys, you guys got this. Now thankfully he's not a data bug. Oh shit. So we don't have to worry about uh, anything he has a definitive amount of health. He just happens to have a lot of health. Yeah, he has like 9,900. So, good times. Thankfully, as long as he can stay distracted and focus on them, uh, I should be fucking fine. I think my best bet ought to be like what I... Oh no! I was gonna say, I think my best bet here is to do what I did against Scaife and just, uh, just play heal bit. Oh, uh. Oh, come on, he confused him? Come on, that's a bitch move. Oh, come on! But, uh, yeah, my best bet here is actually just to uh, try and uh, stay in the back, revive them when necessary. Otherwise, don't worry about them. Because my... Uh-oh. My game plan is I want to stay as far away hey, from him as possible. Oh shit. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh. Night blood? That was the wrong move. Nope. Alright, cool. Revive me. Revive me. Revive me. Oh, thank you, God. Okay. Actually, just attack. Don't worry about it. I'll revive you idiots. Alright, I'm going to stay away from him. I also like he's a major soul on myself, so I have enough SP when time comes to data drain him. Trust me, guys, it's taking damage. It just has a lot of damage, but we have it at half health. There we go. I was trying to time that perfectly so that one of the, so that they died right as he was like mid attack so I could revive him mid attack. There we go. Oh, God. Wow, that just insta killed them. I gotta get away. Oh, boy. to kill her. Holy shit. I really don't like that he keeps uh, confusing Pyros. But yeah, with this thing, uh, you could probably go for like the experience of trying to kill him. But honestly, the best option here is, is he getting stronger? I swear to God, he used to not be able to just insta-kill them with that attack. But uh, the option here is you want to data drain him for his loot. You, you could go for the experience, but it's not worth it. Let's 
So just sit in the back and pray to God. Actually, oh, he's magic tolerant. Oof. Ooh, that's a problem. I was going to sit back and start using some magic on him, but then it's like, oh, yeah, no, no, he's immune to that shit. All right, that's fantastic. Cool. Slowly but surely, we are wearing him down. Come on. Uh, restorative. Heal Pyros. There we go. They both die? No, just Black Rose. All right. There we go. Protect break. All right, you son of a bitch. Listen up. This is my data drain. What the fuck is that word? This monster turned the airship into a living creature. Oh, that just boots us back. Wow, that's shit. I didn't even go to get to go. Was there a god statue in there? I guess I'll take a look later. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, that's that. Uh, what did we get from it? Ooh, a rare fourteen twin blade. Holy shit! It has a lot of fire skills. Ultimate question, though, is it better than what I have? It is very much better than what I have. Oh, but I really like that skill drain, though. But critical hit, so good. Oh, we're going to take it. All right. So, uh, yeah. That, it's, it's basically the same blades I had, except now they're red. Okay. Anyways, that's going to be it for now, guys. So, next time, we're going to do the Goblin Tags, we're going to do a game of speed, and I'm going to make Grunties. So, until then, I'll catch you all later. Asta. <laughs>